It has been 49 days since the Hamas massacre on October 7th. 49 days since Hamas launched its war on Israel. Today is the first day of the hostage release, a pause in our war against the barbaric terrorists of Hamas, a war that we will not stop until Hamas has been dismantled. I said, today's release are the start of a process. We expect more hostages to be released tomorrow, and more the day after, and more the day after that. Over the next few days, we expect that dozens of hostages will be returned to their families. We also remember all those who are still being held, and renew our commitment to work for their release as well. Two American women and one four-year-old child, Abigail, who remains among those missing. We also will not stop until we get these hostages brought home and an answer to their whereabouts. I remain in personal contact with the leaders of Qatar, Egypt, and Israel to make sure this stays on track and every aspect of the deal is implemented. You know, uh, this extended pause in the fighting brings a critical opportunity to deliver much-needed food, medicine, water, and fuel to the civilians in Gaza, and we are not wasting one single minute. We will not rest until every one of our hostages returns home. Our war is against Hamas, not against the people of Gaza. Hamas wanted this war. Hamas started this war. Israel will dismantle Hamas by the end of this war. We will never forget the Hamas massacre of October 7th. And it is our sacred duty to never let October 7th happen ever again. Never again. Never.